amount to anything. But God saved you anyway. Telling you you'll never be healed. You'll never be cured. Your mama died with it. Aunt Sally died with it. Uncle Bill died with it. But God said, if you can have it, I can heal it. You ought to encourage your neighbor right there in this You can have it. God can heal it. If the devil can put you in it, God can get you out of it. And if you get stuck while you're in it, God will reach in and pull you through it right now. Anybody feeling a tug right now? Anybody feeling something pulling on them right now? That's God pulling you through this thing because you already have the victory. You already have the victory. Well, thanks be unto God who always gives us the victory in Christ Jesus. You already delivered. You already have it right now. That's enough to praise him right there. Never say, look at your past. Look at all you've been through. You'll never be anything for God. You're just an old wretched undone. But God said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old thing, old thing that passed away. And behold, all things are brand new. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. But there have been some old things hanging around on you. You ought to get rid of those old garments because this new thing God is getting ready to put on you. You can't put on that brand new hat with no old sackcloth dress. So you need to get ready for your new stuff. Because God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. Who am I talking to in here? Touch your neighbor and say, God getting me to do a new thing in your life. You better get ready for it. If Abraham has said, I am old, it will never happen. It never would have come to pass. That's a limitation. That's what the devil wants us to say. That when things look impossible, that it will not happen. But he considered God's word. He considered only God's word. And this is what you have to do. Don't look at the circumstances. Look at God's word. When the angel appeared to Mary and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. She, wondered, she marveled at this salutation. She said, You're going to conceive a son, bear a son, and call his name Jesus. She said, How can this thing be, seeing that I know not a man? But he said, With God, all things are possible. The Holy Ghost shall come upon you. So you shall bring forth a son, call his name Jesus. And she said, be it unto me. That's a powerful statement. It is biological impossible for a woman to conceive a child without knowing a man. Hello, somebody. But she said, I'm not considering the biological circumstance. I'm considering what you have said. So she said, be it unto me according to your word. And when you come to the point that you can look at your situation and then look at the word of God and say, I see the situation. I see how bad it is. But I look at God's word, and I can say, be it unto me according to your word. Whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. Somebody didn't get that right then. Tell somebody, pay attention to God's word. Pay attention to his word. Don't look at the circumstances. Pay attention to the word. Because if Satan can get you to consider the problem, the sickness, the debt, he will defeat you every time. That's why the psalmist says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. That is, we got to magnify the Lord. I know we're having a problem. Let's magnify the Lord. Is there anybody here that has a debt right now? 
that you need some financial assistance and your finances are smaller than what you need, then what you need to do is don't look at your small finances, but you need to magnify the Lord. If there's a sickness in your body, you need to magnify the Lord. Whatever problems you have, stop looking at the problem and start magnify the Lord. Church, when people say, oh, magnify the Lord with me. See, and the reason he said magnify the Lord with me, because if I magnify him, I can blow him up larger. But if you magnify him, he comes up two times larger. But if three of us magnify him, he comes up three times larger. All I'm trying to tell you is God is bigger than all of your problems. He can solve every problem in here one time at the same time if all of us will put our minds and hearts on him and say, I'm going to magnify the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, we're going to take a look at your problem, but we're not going to consider that problem. And we're going to magnify that problem right now. Get up and five, ten people say, let's magnify the Lord. We're going to blow him up ten times. Ten times greater. Touch ten people. Touch ten people. Touch ten people. When you magnify the word of God, and when you magnify God, you can't see your problem. Can I get a witness? Somebody's problem is gone right now. Somebody's problem is taken care of right now. If you can step by faith beyond the limits and trust God, you already have the victory. Because that's where faith is. One step beyond your limits. One step. You got to make a step of faith. Tell three people, make a step. Make a step. Now make a step. See, the devil has placed you and said, you, this is as far as you can go. You can't go any higher. You can't go any farther. You can't make it through this. But see, you got to go by faith and say, no, this is you trying to limit me. And the reason you're trying to limit me because you know if I make another step, something about to break loose. There were four lepers at the gate. They couldn't go in because there was a famine and the enemy was back there. But they said, why sit we here till, till we die? Let's make a step. And listen, when they made a step, before they got to the enemy's camp, the deliverance was already there. What are you trying to tell me, preacher? I'm trying to tell you that when you make a step of faith, your deliverance is already there. If you make a step of faith to come here to be saved, salvation is already here. If you make a step right now to come down to be here, it's already here right now. If you come here for your turnaround, if you make a step, it will happen right now. While you are on the way right now, God will be there waiting on you before you get there. If you make a step of faith, it's already here right now. You ought to give God an already done praise for me right now. You have to understand that the power of God will make you fly higher than anything else in the world. The power of God will hold you up. It's just like the eagle when he throws his eaglets out. When he throws them out of the nest, he flies underneath them and his wings are so powerful that the wind from his wing will hold up his eaglets until they get confidence that they can fly on their own. When you step out on God's word, because he is the wind beneath our wing, when you step out on God's word, the word will hold you up until you get to the place where God 
God wants you to be. Is there anybody in here this morning that made up your mind, I'm going to step out on God's word and believe what God said. As I take my seat this morning, there was a big fire in an apartment, and everybody got out but one little boy. And the little boy was standing up in the window. Smoke was everywhere. But his father was down on the ground. And he said, son, just jump. He said, but father, I can't see you. I don't know where to jump. But the father said, don't you worry about you seeing me. But I can see you. God is telling me to tell somebody. All you need to make a step and jump. Don't worry about if you can see me or not. Just have faith in my word. And I hear you when you call. And I catch you before you fall. Is there anybody right now? So I'm getting ready to make a fifth step. I'm stepping into my healing. I'm stepping into my prosperity. I'm stepping into my breakthrough. I'm stepping into hardness. I'm stepping into peace right now. I'm stepping into joy right now. Is there anybody in here? They say, I'm getting ready to step into some praise in here because God been good to me. Well, go ahead and step into your praise. Don't worry about folks standing around you because they have what they want. I'm making a step right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging hand. I don't care what's going on. I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help because all oh, of my help comes from the Lord. Give him a praise in here. Give him glory right now. Thank him right now for what he's done for you. And he's been with you all week long. And he watched over you all week long. And there's been food on your table all week long. But give him a praise for that already. Take the limit for God. Press beyond your limitations because that limitation is right there to keep you from stepping over into your mirror. There's someone right now, the devil is saying, don't you listen to that preacher talking about you can be saved. He's trying to put a limit. He's trying to take you to hell. But if you make a step right now, God will save you. You say, I drifted away. I can't come back. That's a limit. You can't come back. Tell somebody, you can't come back. Somebody said, I'm afraid. I don't want to come down the aisle because I got to stand in front of all these people. But that's a lie of the devil. See, you don't have to, if you want to be saved, I'll come to you. You don't have to come down the aisle. Raise your hand. I'll come to you. I want to join the church, but I want to stand in front of all those people. I'll tell you what, I'll let you turn your back. I'll tell everybody to close their eyes. See, that's a limitation trying to place on you right there. What you have to do is step beyond your limitations. Look at that person say, you know you want to get up. Why don't you go ahead and step out right now? Take the limit off of God. Whosoever will, let him come right now. He's here. 